grand rising wonderful souls and welcome to bromance cove tarot if you are a new face welcome in if you're an old one welcome back thank you for your likes your shares your comments and your subscribes thank you for your donations they are truly appreciated and thank you for your emails emails of confirmation emails just sharing your stories and emails booking readings my readings are open there is a 48 hour to 72 hour turnaround time but if you need something a little bit speedier i do offer an emergency service which goes out within 12 to 24 hours with that being said there is still someone going through the comment section here and there pretending to be me pretending to be a light worker pretending to be a friend saying they can get your love back whatsapp me solicitation for money and donations if you see any response from me but there is no highlighted black banner especially if i am solicitating anything it's not me okay the only way to get in contact with me is through my emails that are in the description box okay i will never chase you for anything if you see this please just block and report kindly and thank you now the energy that i pick up on is fluid meaning i can be pick up and picking up on past present or future or an amalgamation of all three so take what resonates and leave the rest if i say he she masculine feminine uh, male or female we all hold these energies so this reading could be for you it could be for another light one it could be for your divine counterpart someone you're thinking of or someone completely different so please take what resonates do not make the story fit if it doesn't and if this message in this story is is not for you it doesn't resonate please have a look at my other readings or you may need a personal one now let's get into this now, there was something here about a fight scene, okay? Someone getting embroiled in a fight scene. And I want to know more about this. Tell me more about this fight scene. Because I heard co-conspiring to hurt. And whoever it was that was in the fight scene didn't get hurt. It didn't happen. They didn't have a scratch on them. Tell me more about this. Why did they not have a scratch on them? And let's see, because you've got here thoughtful, polite and good manners. So there was definitely some sort of um, ill intent towards whoever this person is. And it says yielding, rapture and bliss. And then catalyst, maker, mother and father. So there's something here, ecstasy, someone enjoys, creates it or thinks that they are a creator of chaos. OK, but why did I get that somebody didn't have a scratch on them? Flawless contradictions and mistake or flaws. Sorry, I've got my dog staring at me. We're not going out just yet. Um, flaws, contradictions and mistakes. Someone made a mistake when they did this. And I think they realised how protective this light one is. Whether that's you, the person you're thinking of, or another light one. Because you've got here enduring lo loyalty, eternal love and lasting commitment. Okay, and then on this side, reprise, recovery and comeback. Someone here, whatever it was that they did, they thought this was their comeback. They thought that if they could out this person, when I say out, it's almost like snuff this person out, get this person hurt or harmed, that they get something for it because you've got upstart, tumult and revolution. And then on the other side, you've got enduring loyalty, eternal love and lasting commitment. I'm getting that this is somebody who um, wants to be your other half. They want to be your divine counterpart. And I heard karmic. And they may have been trying to hurt your divine counterpart because i've got here inexplicable and miraculous and otherworldly oh it vexed them it vexed them that this person is protected this person was protected even in the eye of a storm wow anticipation bright hopes and wish they were hoping for some sort of miracle i heard put them in the hospital and it didn't happen it didn't happen this person came out unscathed unscathed so this could have been like someone jumping them a robbery a hold up something along those lines for someone it was supposed to be a car crash this person came out with not one broken bone not one scratch not one bruise not nothing okay and it says here the monster within internal struggle personal changes and wanting to improve and it's upside down this person whoever this person is is definitely inspired by your light but they don't want to change they just want they want to fast track themselves to being with you because you've also got here sovereign, independence and free. Exactly. This person may be struggling against the dark night of the soul of some sort. Okay. Because you've got envy, punishment and change in course. Maverick, risk, risk taker and rule breaker. They're thinking that they can kind of bypass having to do the healing and growing. You go through a dark night of the soul. You have, you're having a spiritual awakening. Okay. This person is fully aware of what they're supposed to be doing, but they're so chained to the, their south node and how they acted before, you know, how they got things. Um, so rather than if they wanted to make a lot of money in, 
you know improving their you know study and things like that so they can get a better job or they can expand they'd rather go out and steal that's the energy that i'm getting now this person here with that envy there they're also trying to punish this light one whoever this person is by trying to hurt the ones that are close to them or their divine counterpart because you've got real authentic and organic because they're fully aware that they are not they are not the authentic divine counterpart to this light one and they figured out who is they figured out who is and they want to get rid of them and it didn't work oh me oh my yielding rapture and bliss and then allure desire and manipulation they try to use some sort of sex magic or some sort of sex chaos magic or something along those lines to banish some sort of banishing spell okay but they did this banishing spell with certain intent okay they might have mixed it with some sort of death spell or hurt and harm spell something along those lines but they definitely with this ecstasy yielding rapture and bliss they thought that this was going to be their miracle this was going to be their ten of cups ten of coins you know all of that the world card and you've got yeah look madness ecstatic ritual and energy release and I'm getting whoever this person is has very distorted sexual fantasies because you've got psychic protection, shield and bad dreams, but you're protected from this. And whoever your divine counterpart is, whether you're with them now or not, is completely protected by them. Okay. Wow. Okay. And you've got anticipation, bright prospects and wish. The truth is that they were hoping this would happen, but you underneath here, you can see the skull there. They were hoping this person would pass away or this person would be injured in some way. OK, it was a massive hope coming from them. And all it's done is made the other person even stronger. And you've got upstart, tumult and revolution. There's something conspiring within whatever group they're part of or whoever it is that's around them. And I don't know if it's gossip or people, because especially with revolution coming up, going, you know, why are you rocking the status quo with that light one's divine counterpart or with whoever they're with? Because that's not part of the plan. The part of the plan was that we were supposed to be going after this light one. What's going on here? Why are you doing this? You know, because you've got out here, reach out, need for backup, admit your needs. Nobody wants to help them out now. OK, nobody wants to help them out. Because I don't know what this karma is going to be for doing something as reckless and as low vibing as that. Do you want me to take these ones? No, do you want me to take these ones? Which ones? These ones. Okay. So let's see. Now, well, that, that I heard the shit is hitting the fan. Oh, indeed. Let's see. And I heard what an asshole. <laughs> what is the kickback from them doing this? What's the kickback from them doing this? Please and thank you. What is the kickback? Show me what I need to see. Please and thank you. Show me what I need to see. Let's take these ones. No. Okay. Show me what I need to see about this person came out unscathed and it says, look, rebalance, regroup, stay the course. And then underneath you can build any kind of life you want. This person is really unbalanced, but I heard financially as well, there's some sort of kickback for whatever it is that they did, especially with that madness card coming out, okay? So it, it's kind of, um, it's drained their life force as well as their bank account, but they're staying the course. This person is gonna try again, okay? And you've also got, you can build any kind of life you want. This person is thinking that if they remove whoever this divine counterpart is, that they'd be able to come in. And you've got music is what you need, okay? Why is music what, what you need continue? They may have been, and you know what, this came up in a, a really old reading of mine of someone using like sexual distorted energy while chanting or listening to a particular type of music. Okay, they've been blocked off from that. Why have they been blocked off from that? Because you've got leave room for whimsy. The music is haunting them now. Why is the music haunting them now? Tell me, why is the music haunting them now? Ooh, because you've got here, it's often easy to make a ripple, but I've been told it should be upside down shame this person thought that they would be able to manifest this in create chaos and take what they wanted by more or less removing the divine counterpart not realizing that your divine counterpart it your divine counterpart story mirrors yours because you are you know your cell vibration is the same you are meant to be in union whether you're with that person right now or whether you are about to be with that person you're destined to be with that person which means if you are divinely uh, protected so is that person and they didn't realize 
they thought that they were gonna they were gonna be able to come back. That was their their you know big comeback. Oh my gosh! Look at this, and it says here, find a little divinity within yourself, because not only are you protected by angels, so is your divine counterpart. Oh, and that was a massive low blow for this person. Leave room for whimsy. Leave room for whimsy is for me. It's almost like um when you daydream, when you use your imagination, when you are not caught up so much in present stresses of just being an adult and having to pay bills and this and that. Whoever your divine counterpart has done a lot of work, a lot of internal growth, especially when it comes to their inner child, because there's a lot of yellow around here. So someone here has Archangel Chamiel, who is protecting them. Wow. Take the time. This person, what did I say? This person takes time to heal themselves. And whoever it was who thought that this was a great idea has been left having to, it's almost like rebooting a computer that does not want to reboot because it's so old and mangled, okay? And you've got here, look, call upon angels. This person has no protection. And you also have a one small change upside down. There's been a massive change. There's been a massive change within the circle that they're with, okay? Shine some light on it and call on angels. Someone's questioning this person. Who's questioning them? Thank you. Money over. Someone here is questioning them and question. They're questioning their skill set. They're question. They're now questioning themselves as well. Oh my gosh! And it says here, notice the miracles. Someone is actually noticing that this person is is a bad omen or someone has something attached to them. And if this person had a harem or had a group of people that were quite easily manipulated, people are now looking at this person and going, we don't want to be anywhere near this person. This person is getting kicked back from karma, which means if they've been teaching us that karma isn't real or threefold isn't real, or none of those things actually happen because you can divert around them and stuff like that. They're now seeing whoever their master or mentor is getting a massive kickback, getting a slice of humble pie and going, I, I don't want to be part of this. I don't want to be anywhere near this person because it says fear nothing. Someone here is scared, okay? One small change because something massive has happened. Someone's had a massive tower in their life. Because I heard the coffin is coming. The coffin is coming. Try something new without expectations and visualize abundance when needed, okay? Try something new without expectation. Some someone has jumped ship, or many people are jump jumping ship because I had the community, a community of elders or a community of others are jumping ship because of what they're seeing. This masculine, I'm getting masculine energy. So this could be a man or it could be a woman that's you know holds more of their masculine energy. But whoever it is, people have seen this and have gone, nah. Not only are you going after somebody and it's a really bad idea. We don't know why you're doing that when we're supposed to be focusing on targeting or harnessing or energy harvesting from this light one. You've gone over this and you've more or less mashed up the, the status quo and the kickback has been so awful. We don't want anything to do with you anymore because visualizing abundance when needed with it being upside down. This person is literally walking around like they have a black cloud around them and everyone that usually would come towards them. Because there was something about their distorted uh, uh, sexual energy and how they use that to manipulate others. It's gone. And not only is it gone, this visualizing abundance, whatever practice or technique they used to visualize and manifest in other people's abundance has gone. They don't have that anymore. Because it, look, it says explore your depths and ponder your blessings. This person also only looks at their bank account and their bank account is nil. Go out on a limb. This person is very superficial and people are seeing this now because this there was something here about they were always superficial. They were always just in it for the money, but they were very, very skilled at manipulating others into thinking there was a benefit from them being there and doing things for them. Because I heard cast it upon them and you will get this. Isn't that a great deal? People are now seeing them just for a scam artist that live in the moment and tell your friends your goals. This is somebody from your past. This is somebody that you trusted also. This is somebody that came towards you with a friendly face. For someone, it's a co-worker. Well, this co-worker is jumping shit. Because I heard her man's got no money. Okay. Okay, okay.
okay, soon, soon. Sorry, my dog is just staring at me and making funny noises because she wants to go. Um, I'm not going to say the word because then she'll get really excited. O U T. Now, butt convention is upside down. This is about taking responsibility. This person doesn't want to take responsibility in any way, shape, or form, but everyone else now is pointing the finger at them, going, you know, look, take care of yourself. But I'm, I'm seeing that it's more like a threat. Okay, this is like, and I'm getting the energy of Mother Gaia or Elementals going, you best take care of yourself because we're coming for you. Oh, look, self-care is upside down. And this person, they know it. They know it. Now, I'm going to keep this one really short simply because my dog will not stop staring at me. Okay, we're going to go out soon. Soon, soon, not now, soon. Now, let's have a look. You've got here beauty in reverse. So there's something happening to their face. You got today you are a curator of beauty you are blessed with moments that let you know beyond a shadow of doubt a uh, doubt that all is well in the world this person is freaking out because you've got pamper upside down as well self-care is a necessity not a luxury this i don't know what i've been getting the energy of this person's on the run but they're, they've got something stuck on them because you've got move upside down oh no okay so what is it that they're fearing what are they fearing what are they fearing why has this person got the energy of being on the run oh i heard your ancestors are coming your ancestors are coming because you've got this coming out and it says you get what you believe you deserve it's time to raise your standards they're getting what they deserve okay because whoever this Whoever's, you know, significant other this is, or divine counterpart, this person is truly protected because whatever the chaos energy that was sent towards them, this person really thought that they weren't protected. They thought that only you were. And that, you know, um, if they were to try to send that to, towards you, of course, they would end up with really bad karma or a kickback. So they thought they were being sneaky by going to the, the person that either you love, the person that you care for, or just to your divine counterpart if you haven't met them. They did not expect this divine counterpart to be so divinely protected because this the damage that they were trying to send was death. It was a massive fatal car crash or a stabbing or a robbing that went wrong or, you know, a, a, a G-U-N violence or something along these lines. They proper put all, all of their energy into this. They did not realise that this person, and this person was unaware, was going to be able to walk through it unscathed and come back and just be like, you never guess what just happened. Oh my gosh. That kind of energy, okay? All right, let's see. And you've got patience and happiness. Now, patience here says it is safe to wait. Okay. And next to it is peace. And it's upside down. And it says just because some people are fueled by drama doesn't mean you have to attend the a, a performance. Make your life a drama-free zone. Now, with it being upside down, that is just confirmation that your ancestors are saying, you sit pretty, whether that's you, your divine counterpart, your significant other, you sit pretty, you chill, it's safe for you, you don't need to do anything, okay, because we're taking it back to them, it's, it's going back tenfold, a hundredfold, watch what happens to this person, because <laughs> you've got here success and action, <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, wow, well they didn't expect that, did they, I didn't expect that from a reading either, my goodness, Right, I'm going to leave this with these cards over here. Let's get them out. Let's see if they want to come to me. Come hither. Let's see, what message do you have for my lovely light ones? Mm -hmm -hmm. We have here Divine Source, and it's in reverse. And it says, help me know that all my deepest needs are met. Let me trust that you have a plan and the right actions will come. You are my source for all, and it's upside down. So this is what they were intending, not only to get rid of your divine counterpart, but to have you in a place of such grief that you would be easily um, manipulated and malleable to whatever it is that they wanted. And all they've done is bring themselves closer to whatever dark energy that they work with, because it says your path. Look at that, and I didn't even read that. Dear Lord, help me trust that there's a plan far beyond what I can see through my fears and illusions. Okay, and it's upside down. This person wanted you to be in a place of weakness, of of stress, of heartbreak, okay? And all they've done is bring themselves closer to whatever it was that they were worshipping, 
okay and you've got here clearing and your path don't worry your ancestors are clearing the way for you wow okay last message because my dog won't stay stop staring at me hello i love you i love you okay okay all right all right okay intuition each person's road to the inner Lord is extraordinary and personal. How liberating to listen inside and sense moment to moment what's needed. Your ancestors are only a thought away. Okay, they're only a thought away. And you've got energetic clearing here as well. And it says, during crisis, the Holy One herself may be emptying you of fear and attachments, preparing you to receive her luminous plan. Just know that all the stuff that's being sent towards you is being sent back. And I heard, but I heard you need to roar or hear me roar, okay? When you are sending this stuff back, there's something here about joyous roaring or letting that inner wildness in you um, come out as you are returning this to sender without malice, without, you know, um, volatile emotion, but just standing in that sovereign power. That's beautiful. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. I hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively know. If you are new to my channel and this resonated and you like what you heard, I'd love for you to hit on the like, the subscribe and on the notification bell so you can see more of my content. And if you are a return subscriber, as always, um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Anyone that feels moved to leave a donation, it is never expected, but it's always highly and truly appreciated because it means I can put more time, more love and more cards into this channel and anyone looking for a personal reading all of my information is in the description box down below if you just go to the second paragraph down and look for the row of blue arrows pointing up i've got two emails there i usually get back to people within about uh 48 to 72 hours if by chance you don't hear from me just send me a prompt email and it will put your email to the top of the list now with that being said i hope you have a wonderful morning afternoon evening or night wherever you are in the world and i'll catch you in the next reading bye guys